Hey campers, it's Far Out Future Week, and today we're going to work on, oh, what, what are you working on, Paloma? I'm making galaxy slime. I found a really cool recipe out by Rebecca Raptor's campground. Oh, yeah, the campgrounds that we used kite photography a week ago with the rest of the campers. Yeah, after we were done that day, I went over to the campgrounds and I investigated like a good maker should. Huh, so you found a recipe to galaxy slime? Yeah, it's like a weird recipe I've never seen before. It's got all these like different steps and I don't, I'm not a physicist, but it seems like Rebecca Raptor really likes tachyon pulses. What? That's really weird. How, how'd you figure all this out? Well, I went behind the cabin out there and there was this hole in the ground with a box in it and there was like a shovel next to it. It looked like she had started burying it but stopped halfway. It was almost like she wanted me to find it. What is the, the, the color that you're making that galaxy slime? It's, uh -huh. it's, is that the color that was in Rebecca's instructions? I mean, you can make galaxy slime a ton of different colors, but yeah, this is the one that she, it, wait, what, why are you making that face? I, I didn't tell anyone this, Paloma, but when, when you matched me to Detroit, I, I found that exact color galaxy slime in my pockets. What? Like that color, that one right there. How? I look, Listen, I've magicked a lot of people, and that's never happened to anybody that I've transported. Paloma, are, are you sure you're the one that sent me to Detroit? Rebecca oh, Raptor. Raptor. Hey, campers. Uh, we're going to check out some quick tips with Shrinky Dinks, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll send you to that video while we solve this mystery. Wow, Shrinky Dinks are a really great way to reuse old plastic. Yeah, it's so cool to see the different ways that you can color it and cut it into different shapes. Hey, uh, Paloma? Uh-huh? Why, why is our potato power plant oozing the galaxy slime? Honestly, I hadn't really thought about it. I, it's like seeping out of it. Like, I don't really think it's supposed to do that. Maybe it's a reminder that we're supposed to teach the campers how to make some. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be it. That's got to be exactly what it is. Great! Let's check it out. Galaxy Slime is an interesting project for kids or adults that we discovered on toodaloo.com. The slime is fun for kids to play with and has a wonderfully weird texture, but the real appeal is its stellar deep space coloration. To make your own Galaxy Slime, you'll need clear glue, liquid starch, watercolors or food coloring, and glitter. You also need some bowls to mix it in. To create the interesting swirls that resemble a galaxy, you'll need three separate colors of slime, which you'll combine together later. Pour approximately equal amounts of glue into each of the three bowls, add watercolors and glitter to the glue and stir well until it is fully mixed. Dark, vivid colors will help create that galaxy look. Now you're ready to add the starch, but go slowly because this is the tricky part. Add small amounts of starch to each of the glue mixtures, making sure to mix it thoroughly before adding more. If you add too much and combine all the starch at once, you'll end up with a lumpy, rubbery blob. Stop adding starch once you've reached the consistency that you like. 
that's it. You now have slime. To create your galaxy, simply blend all the colors together. Start with a swirl of colors and then knead and work the slime until it resembles a cosmic cloud. You can play with the slime however you like, you can make galaxy boogers, and it even bounces. Have fun with your slime and let us know what other things you do with yours. Welcome back, campers! Wow, that galaxy slime sure looks a lot like ours, except it doesn't have the weird growing property that ours seems to have. Yeah, ours sure is growing just about everywhere, all over the camp and through the walls. Yep. What, has Rebecca just been making a ton of it and pouring it all over the camp? I don't know. I have no idea whatsoever. However, I do notice that this particular blend of galaxy slime actually looks like the universe. Very weird. Weird. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. You've made your own galaxy slime. I did. I made this super cool stuff before I made Rebecca's recipe, but this is super cool. I put glow in the dark paint in it, so it glows in the dark, and it's awesome. It's a little tougher than that galaxy slime, and I think maybe next time I'll put a little less liquid starch in it, but I kind of like it like this because it's easier to play with and it doesn't get everywhere, and it's really rubbery and stretchy. It's just fun. Yeah, it's, oh, that's pretty cool. And yeah. you can use all sorts of colors. I mean, you know, we're not just limited to that. You can basically make any color you want with Galaxy Slime. Yeah, you could combine colors and make your own custom color, add different colors of glitter, and make something really special and unique. I think that it would be really cool to even combine this project with other projects from the week to make something really super special. Yeah. Just be sure not to get it on your carpets at home. Be very careful about that. This stuff doesn't come out easy. Yeah, the rule at Maker Camp is no mad parents. So don't put it on your carpet or your clothes or anywhere where you wouldn't want it to get stained. And treated wood is okay, but even be careful with other wood. And uh, it also has a really cool other property. I'm gonna brave the tachyon pulses here. And uh, if you roll it up into a ball like chewing gum and put it on the end of a straw, see if I can get it to work here, you can blow a bubble. So let's Make sure see. Make you get a good seal on that. Yeah. See, it made a bubble, but you can even, with more patience and practice, yeah. you can get this to be a huge bubble, and it'll even stay there for a little bit. So I want to see pictures of your bubbles on the Maker Camp community page. Yep, the bigger the better. Yeah, so customize this, play around with it, and remember, if this project's too easy or too challenging, you can go to MakerCamp.com where we have a ton of projects to play around with. Now let's see what you did yesterday. Wow, campers, keep it coming. Remember, we have only a couple days left to Maker Camp, so if you want to submit something, get it in now. What'd you figure out today, Paloma? What did I figure out? I figured out that Rebecca's been transporting us and she's been doing it for a while. Oh, okay. Well, if you like what you've seen here, please upload your photos and videos to the Maker Camp community where you too could become internet famous and probably do something a little bit better than Left Shark. Wait. Wait, that's why our potato wasn't working. It's fusion based. We should have had days worth of power. It must have been Rebecca. And in the Maker Camp community, be sure to have your questions and comments for Paloma, a person who saw the sign and it opened up her eyes. Wait, you you said that before. Use hashtag Maker Camp for your Twitter, Instagram, G plus, C plus plus, C minus, C sharp, Pearl, Cobol, Fortran. Wait, I said that before. Yeah. Wait, I said that before. What's happening? Yes, it worked. <laughs>